What is up guys? Hello and welcome. So today I'm going to be making an updated version of the concrete tutorial. Uh, not much has changed as far as how the actual route goes. The only thing that's changed is where some of the locations are. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the only thing that's being updated is locations and stuff like that. So uh, a few things before we get started. Uh, one, it is a premium trucking route, meaning that you have to have Tycoon Premium. And if you do not know where to buy that, it is at City Hall. If I scroll down here, you can see it. Uh, right here at this uh, premium VIP market. That is where you buy uh, Tycoon Premium at. It's, I believe, 40 mil or 100 skill level tokens. And if you're early off, the 100 skill level tokens might be easier to achieve. But... Uh, that is how you get premium, and that is how you are able to do this route. Uh, also, I would recommend that you have... Once you get to a Mark 10 trailer, it'll be a little more uh, comfortable. Of course, it'll still be a grind. Um, and, like, bare minimum for trailer that I would say you should start with is a Mark 8. Uh, I actually started with a Mark 8, and it is a grind just know that uh, so be ready for the grind if you are doing that so how I'm going to do this is basically split it up into it's pretty much like three parts almost four parts and basically just go through each step on the way through uh, and I guess I should also mention, there are two ways of getting treated water for concrete. Uh, in this video, I'm going to cover the like acid unfiltered water and then like making treated water with that. Uh, there is also the Liberty City route, which if you want to watch that, I have a video on it. Uh, there'll be a link to it in the card as well as in the description. So you can go check that out if you want to use that method for getting water. Uh, and while I'm driving over to the quarry, the the storage that you should probably try to use is either join a faction that is located at the filtering plant or uh, get the buy the yellowjack. The yellowjack is a great location for uh, buying a business and having business storage. It's basically right in the middle of most of the things that you're going to be doing and it works out great. So, okay. So the first thing that you're going to do is come to the quarry, which on the map is at the quarry, uh, basically right side of the map here and drive sort of to this little central area on this right here. Of course it closed the menu, Got back out, pull back in. Uh, and you're going to pick up quarry rubble. Uh, now just completely fill up your inventory all the way. And that is what you will do. And then head back to the filtering plant and I will be with you once I am there. Okay, here we are at the filtering plant. Now, if you are part of a faction that is located here, what you can do is actually put your quarry rubble into store into the storage and basically just repeat that over and over again until you basically have like a bulk amount of quarry rubble and then filter it all as you're getting ready to do. So then once you come here with your quarry rubble, what you do is go to filter quarry rubble. Just click on that. Okay, won't let me open the trunk using B. Ooh, no, don't, don't hit the wrong thing. There we go. Uh, so uh, once you filter the quarry rubble, uh, from that you will get gravel, raw ore mix, and emeralds. Uh, now, if you want some extra money, what you can do is either sell the raw ore mix to people that are making houses, or you can sell the raw emeralds to the jewelry store uh, in the city. 
and that's sort of just a little bit of extra income uh, and the jewelry store if you are wondering is right here basically right next to town hall uh, and that's where you can sell it so once you have done that it's done filtering you need to actually i don't think it's actually done filtering Uh, so once you are done filtering, what you will need to do is reopen the uh, filtering plant menu and go to filter gravel. I don't know why it won't let me uh, use B to open the trunk. Uh, and then filter the gravel, and that is how you will get the sand that you need for concrete. And that's actually the first step done. Uh, and I guess I should say, uh, and if you are using Yellow Jack, now would be the time that you take this sand to the Yellow Jack and store it there, and then go get more quarry rubble and repeat. Okay, so next I'm going to move on to sawdust, uh, which is logging. And so I will meet you guys over at one of the logging camps. Okay, we are here at the logging camp. Now, I would actually recommend using this logging camp right here. And what you will do is basically get your logs, drive up here to the highway, then drive to the uh, to the sawmill. And then from there, you will go to wherever your storage is. So either drive it back this way to in Sandy wherever you're storing it or if you have train yards you can basically just drive down the road and put it into your train storage right here uh, and that's actually what I do put it in train storage and then from Sandy you can transport it from there to whatever faction storage or train or not train yard yellow jack you were using in uh, in Sandy Shores so uh, what you will do is basically pull in to here, collect your logs. I just realized that I did not put anything that I had into storage. Wow, that is very dumb. Well, I already have some sawdust, so it'll be fine. <laughs> But yeah, you will get the point of how this works. Basically just do that. And then we will drive to the sawmill. Now, the reason why I use this route is, uh, well, the old route is slower than the two new ones uh, being this one, right? This is the old route or old stop. These are the new two, these two right here. This one, it seems alluring because, you know, it's it's pretty close. It's, like, right there. Uh, the Mark 14, like, it'll fit across the bridge that's before the tunnel here, but, like, just fits. So it's kind of a tight fit. Uh, there's more chance for damaging your truck whenever you go this way. And it's actually slower. Uh, I timed both of these to see which is quicker. And this route right here is about a minute quicker than the other way so uh go this way it's it's better <laughs> okay here we are at the the sawmill now this is one of the good things actually most of them were all good uh this was a great thing that was added was the sawmill was moved from up on top of the hill up there to right here it, it it's great it saves you so much time and mill into sawdust and you can also make this into planks which you can use in other trucking routes uh, so if you're doing other things where you need planks it is the same thing just instead of grinding sawdust you mill planks uh, same same idea get your logs come here do it and then put it in storage so that kind of works this same driving direction same route works for multiple things or two things uh, so now what you're going to do is go to your storage and you're going to take out sand and sawdust in order to make concrete mix 
Uh, now, concrete mix is five sand and two sawdust for every concrete mix. So, uh, just be sure that you take out like the equivalent amounts. And then we will go to the quarry to mix this. So, I will see you guys at the quarry once I am there. It's with all the RVs. <laughs> Okay, here we are at the quarry. Now, what you are going to do is right here, create cement mix. Just click that and just sit and wait for it to make the cement mix. And once you have this cement mix made, uh, just store this uh, wherever you are like storing everything. And we will move on to the next step, which is probably like the longest step out of all of this uh it just takes the most work uh that is if you are doing the acid and unfiltered water uh, way of making water so okay here we are at the waste deposit now this is probably the one that i have gotten the most questions about where it is uh after it has been updated it used to be right over here at lsia it was the lsia waste deposit it is no longer there. It is now the Elysian Island Waste Deposit and is basically just to the right of where it used to be on Elysian Island here. Uh, this is where you will need to go to pick up your toxic waste. Now, I am not going to get a full inventory of this. I'm going to probably fill maybe about halfway and then pull out because I do not need a full thing okay so once you have picked up your toxic waste what you're going to have to do is go all the way back up to the filtering plant up here in uh, sandy and filter the toxic waste to get acid uh, so I'm gonna go do that that is actually sort of the longest drive uh, and once you filter it, I would suggest that you bring it down here to the big house storage. Uh, it's sort of right outside of LSIA. Store it here because you're going to need it right here at the water treatment plant uh, to filter the water. Let me do this. Oh, okay. So once you are at the filtering plant, what you will do is uh, just drive in, filter toxic waste, and filter it. And what you will get is acid, scrap mercury, and scrap lead. Now, the mercury and lead you can probably sell to people, once again, that are doing houses or batteries or something along those lines. Uh, they will buy it. So, yeah. Uh, you can sell that stuff if you want some extra money. Uh, otherwise, all you need from it is the acid. So, I am actually going to put it all in storage and then just take the acid out because that's all that I need. And now what you would do is take this down to the, like I said, the big house storage down here, put it there and repeat. This is kind of like the longest leg of the journey. It's a lot of driving. So uh, it's going to take a while, and that's sort of why I would recommend doing the Liberty City water route. It's less driving, but you sort of have to have train yards or something like that uh, for storage if you do that. Uh, and like I said, you can go watch that video. Uh, I'll have it linked in the card and in the description. So, Okay, so now you're going to be picking up unfiltered water, and this is another one that's been moved, and I've probably had a few questions uh, about it. It used to be on this side right here, but they have moved it onto this side so that you don't have to actually go into the reservoir to get to it. Uh, it's sort of just next to the highway here at the bottom of this hill. Basically just drive into here and pick up your unfiltered water, and that is all you need to do. 
Uh, it's not that difficult. Uh, and then once you get this, you will take it down to the big house at LSIA. And then we will move on to the next step, which is treating the water at the water treatment facility to get treated water. So I will be back once I am down there. So, okay, here we are at the water treatment plant. Now where this is, I sort of pointed it out earlier, right near LSIA, right here, the water treatment plant, that's where you're gonna wanna come. And it is going to be one unfiltered water and one acid will get you one treated water. Okay. Treat the unfiltered water. Okay, so now once you have all of your stuff, uh, what you will do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump everything into here. So what you will do is come to the filtering plant and what you're gonna do, I need to back out and come back in, is you are going to mix the concrete mix and treated water as five concrete mix and one treated water to make concrete. And this is actually the last step. Once you make this concrete, you just need to sell it and you will be done. Okay, so let's go take the trunk. And we're gonna take all 20 concrete that we have made, which is not a lot. Normally you would, uh, like I said, sort of, uh, get all of this stuff in bulk just repeat the steps over and over again uh and there are calculators out there plenty of them uh if you want to make like a certain amount or make a certain amount of money um and you can find those uh on the transport tycoon discord uh there is a tab i think it's called tycoon spreadsheets there's like a ton of calculators on there for anything you could imagine so go check that out. There's a link to the Discord in the description. Uh, you can use that to join. I believe it actually also has it in the F7. Yeah, up at the top. <laughs> Discord.gg slash tycoon. It's also a way of joining. Okay, here we are. Now, in order to sell the concrete, you will need to come to the Alta construction site. It's sort of in like the middle of the top of the city. Uh, right here, it's a little green truck symbol. Uh, just drive on in and sell your concrete. And there we go. And I believe that I should get like 16 mil, just about. Yeah, just about 16 mil. It sells for 800K a piece uh, since I had 20, 16 mil. And yeah, that is everything. So if you have any questions at all, leave those in the uh, comments. I know that this was a sort of long video, a lot to take in. Um, but if you have any questions, leave those in the uh, comments and I will answer them for you. I'm typically pretty quick at responding to comments too. So uh, hopefully I'll see it and respond quickly. Um, and yeah, if you have any topics that you want me to cover in future videos, leave those in the comments as well, and I will be sure to cover them. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.